What's up everyone? I'm Elias. Okay, and the cutscene just went on. I'm Elias, and today I'm going to be reviewing Mighty Goose on the Switch. Now, this is going to get me in a better mood after talking about, um, Lambs on the Road. Um, this was just, this game is going to get me in a much better mood. Uh, now, I still haven't played the game, uh, the game of, uh, uh, not this game, but I haven't played Untitled Goose Game, and I was going to say, I feel like Untitled Goose Games kind of set the bar for, like, making the, the goose, the animal goose, as this icon in video games. And I think it's cool that this game uses a goose uh, as the main character. I just, I just wanted to point that out, really. So, I'm going to show the game. I have unlocked everything in the game. Um, but we're going to start off unlocked everything being um yeah i unlocked everything and i completed all the levels so i'm gonna show uh i'm gonna show a quick playthrough of everything i'm gonna show the settings first so i turned down the volume a little bit because i, I did a test recording and it was a little bit too loud auto fire uh i'll talk about that in a bit um obviously vibration it's actually interesting how they have you can change the look percentage of that i actually never thought about that before okay Disable flashing screens, and I'm going to turn off disable screen shake. Now, I do like both of those. I'm going to turn it off for now. Okay. Uh, um, but auto fire is actually really nice in the game. And I'll, and I'll hopefully try to remember to talk about that when I'm in the gameplay. So you got the armory, and you unlock stuff progressively uh, after you complete levels. And I'm going to have... So you see the energy used at the top. So if I turn that off, it shows how much uh, I'm using. And I think I have 100 energy overall. I unlocked everything, including this god mode, um, which kind of makes the game super easy. Uh, so I'm going to have these turned on because it because I, I, they feel really nice. So weapon pickups have extra ammo. Uh, rocket boots. So I, really liked, I really like that crisp double jump. And we're going to also turn on uh, increases your base movement speed okay over here you got this like power so typically I yeah I, I have the bomb equipped as you can see with that little uh, goose head icon um, the, th the first thing you get is this goose honk that does nothing but it's it's just nice to hear I guess then you get bombs this uh, hourglass which I kind of use a reflector honk that's actually a useful honk uh, a, la a laser, or I mean a flame. Uh, skeletons, that one was actually kind of useless. I'm trying to remember what that did. And uh, mighty mode. Uh, it activated this bar faster. Which, I, I didn't really use the bar as much, so I guess it... Yeah. Okay, so you also get these... I'm going to call them minions. No, not minions, sorry, companions. Uh, you get companions in the game, and you start out with this, you know, regular duck, who they say does nothing, but he actually shoots, like, egg grenades, which is pretty cool. Then you get this, um, oh yeah, and the yellow text is, like, what it, what they mainly they do. So this guy gives you machine gun ammo, reflective shielding. That one was actually kind of hard to find. You, you, actually, you have to use a shotgun to find them. Uh, energy pistol, so he just shot some bullets, I guess. He's a miner. This one, actually I'll talk about that one in a moment. This one is, in, uh, shoots, uh, rockets. But this one's my most favorite because he's actually your nemesis at first, but then he becomes your, you know, your friend, and I'm like, oh, that's actually pretty cool. So he's normally my thing. That one, uh, I don't really like his power. Small, small, uh, swarms of small insects, but he's the most fun to get, um, because the game, the gameplay, actually, wait, let me, let me equip him first, um, the gameplay is actually based, uh, inspired around the game Downwell, and I know, uh, a lot of you should know what Downwell is, I'm hoping, and I'm assuming, uh, it's like a small $3 game that's practically on every platform, um, where you fall down a, uh, a well and you have rocket boots. And I'm going to show you that this game is actually ins inspired by that. Not by falling down a well, but actually like uh, shooting the gun. 
Okay, wait. Let me let me show this part. Okay, so uh, I, I literally don't care about the dialogue right now. See if I shoot down. It, it kind of like stops me from actually going down. And then there's this Easter egg where you're in this downwell area, and that's how you get that min uh, companion that I showed. Anyway, so. Uh, sorry, I have a lot to talk about here. Okay, so the top left corner, uh, you see your goose icon, obviously. Your health, which you can see I have four health hit points. My meter underneath it, which makes me like super powerful and whatever. Um, top right of the screen, you see my power. You can also see my uh, dodge ability here and the cooldown for it. I also have these bird bombs. And then bottom uh, left corner, you can see my money. And the money is only good for, uh, I think buying upgrades. I don't remember if I had to use money to buy upgrades because I beat this so long ago. But you can, wait, wait, no, wait, no, 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 no. Wait a second. Okay, okay. So actually, uh, oh my gosh, this is, uh, sorry, I had to search this up for a moment. This is news to me. There's a, there's a two player mode. Okay, let's turn that on for a second and I'm gonna hook up my other controller. So this better be player one, this better be player two. I really just, I wanna see because I'm very interested about this. Let's, let's see how well the, the co-op is here. Oh, <gasps> wait, what? Okay, okay, this, this, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, you can play as the companion. What? What? I'm just, I'm freaking out here. What? Sorry, I just have to sit here for a moment and think about everything. That is so cool. And I'm probably like yelling into the mic or whatever, but like, bruh, no way. Okay, wait, wait a second. Okay, this is this is news to me. Wait, let me let me change the companion. I want to see that. Okay, wait. Uh, let's ch let's change it to the duck. I don't know why the duck. We're just gonna do the duck. Well, I no. The reason I want to do the duck is I want to see like. Okay, no way. I I. I don't know why I'm impressed so far like that. That's just so cool to me. So you can actually play with a buddy. Because I, there was no two player mode when I first started out the game. But that That's the honest truth right there. Like, there wasn't. Okay, wait, what about this guy? Oh my goodness, you can shoot eggs! Do I... Okay, so maybe I don't get any other power. Sad. <laughs> oh, and I can dash. Okay, the attack is really slow. I think... Okay, I'm gonna turn off two-player. Oh my gosh! That's so cool, though. Okay. <laughs> just I just want to point this out. Uh, thank you to the uh, developers for actually putting two-player in. I, even though I'm spending like five minutes getting hyped over two player, I, it's just cool to me. Damn. That. I think I'd be better with the crow though, the raven. I, I can't imagine somebody actually enjoying playing as the duck because his attack is slow, but I, I'd be up for playing as one of the other uh, companions. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Even though I got uh, distracted there for a second. Um, the shop. So you can actually... Uh, there's only one vehicle. I wish they had more. But you can use the money to buy uh, guns in the middle of a round. And vehicles. You know, when when you just need it. So let, let's actually continue the game. Okay. So I'm going to go through the first level. Then I'm going to show all the... Uh... No, I'm not going to show all the lo other levels, I'm just going to show how many levels there are overall in the game. Um, and then I think, I think I will end it. But okay, this is supposed to be like, 
uh, guns. I think I'm saying it wrong. I like I legit haven't played the game. But they're making a tactical game off of it. Gun slugs? Uh, don't kill me if I'm wrong on that, because again, I, I, I've never really played the game. But I know all I know is that they're making a tactical sh uh, RPG out of it. But it was it was also a game that I, uh, I would say kind of inspired this game. I believe. Uh, just like all the shooting and everything. Oh wait, actually there was one problem with the game. So when I turned on auto shooting, um, there was a special ability where I could actually charge up my bullets and that ability is worthless if I'm doing auto shoot. Because I, uh, I can't hold Y to charge up the weapon, I hold Y to actually shoot continuously. And I also like the continuous shooting because, uh, I, I've tried pressing Y for so long, and I just, I, I just wanted to hold the button. My thumb was getting tired of actually pressing a ton of times. Okay, now we're on to this room. I'm gonna kill the yellow guys. The yellow guys are probably my least favorite because they shoot out bullets that most of the time I'm, I'm not able to dodge. Okay, we're, we're gonna dodge this way. I. I like platforming in games, I, and I really like nice movement in games. And just look at this, look at that dodge roll. I, I feel like I'm in Enter the Gungeon here, but I have this like really sweet dodge roll. Just look at that, people. I I absolutely love like art styles in games and animation and how a gameplay feels. And just look at that dodge. It just feels powerful. It, I, it makes me feel like a badass. And what also makes me feel like a badass is that. Oh yeah, there we go. That down well action right there. Okay. We're gonna go over this way. Oh, hold that. And also the the, the guns actually feel powerful. Like, I have HD Rumble turned on right now. And I absolutely love HD Rumble, right? Uh, the vibration feature. And I just feel like all... I can feel all the bullets just shooting out of the gun. It feels pristine. And I, I know this game feels short, and it definitely is, but it's definitely, it doesn't feel like it was half-assed at all. It doesn't feel like a half-assed game. It feels like they legitimately put a ton of work into it, a ton of work and love into it, and they're like, you know what, let's, let's throw this out there into the world. The world needs a game about a goose bounty hunter. Man, I, I'm just, I'm just really, in, I'm really in a good mood just getting back into this. I'm probably not gonna play it through the uh, full thing of it again, but all I know is that this is just worth playing. The the reason. Oh my gosh, the shotgun! <gasps> I forgot about the shotgun! Yeah, the shotgun is probably the most badass thing in the game. Because look at that. Like, look at the size of that shotgun. Does that make you just feel powerful? And then if you shoot it down, you actually go upwards. Oh crap! Th this is a secret area. That's how I got the duck. Yeah, so actually the shotgun is used for finding secret areas like this. <laughs> I'm not even joking. <laughs> Oh man, he has an electric gun. And the guns... Oh, you know what I really wanted to talk about in this game? I really wanted to talk about how... And I'm I'm really gonna judge uh, Kirby Robobot. Like, I'm really gonna judge them on this because uh, I hate when games advertise something, but it's barely in the game. And the reason I'm blaming Kirby Robobot... Um, is that they, I kind of felt like I didn't use the mech that much and they advertised the game like, I'm gonna use the mech a ton for this. But I, like they showed vehicles and everything, but you, this, you can get access to like different vehicles and mechs and whatever each, practically each level, if you know how to find them. And it, it didn't feel like they just, they left you empty handed with 
maybe a couple, like, barely any time to use the, uh, whatever it is, the, the machines. Oh yeah, and that's how I got that, that guy. Will he follow me? Oh, okay, never mind, he doesn't follow me. But yeah, I just feel like, um, I hate when games just waste potential. Oh, I'm almost done with this first mission anyways. Yeah, just waste potential, uh, showing some new mechanic, but then barely using it. But, yeah, that's what I appreciate this game for a ton. Okay, so this is actually my first boss. Man, I've talked a lot so far. Okay, let's just, uh, try not to die. And I can also dodge through all those bullets. Oh, I took damage. I also take more damage. Okay, okay, so maybe I'm close to dying. That is not good. Oh, oh. No! Okay, maybe I died. Oh, wait, I turned into a duck. Roasted. No, but I'm a goose. Okay, we're gonna break this guy out of here again. Wait, there's an enemy there? Okay, whatever. And then we move. Boosh. <clears throat> you know, I again, I don't really talk about prices in games, but I kind of feel like this game is totally worth getting. Especially if you're into, like, uh, old shooter games. Like, no, it was Metal Slug. That's what it was, I, I think. Um, I, I, I think you'd, if you, if you enjoy that, I would honestly pick this up. Okay, that's not cool. Okay, that's also not cool. Okay, he's almost dead. Die! Okay, he's dead. Well, we're close to finishing the level. Oh, I turned off flashing, but it's interesting how they turn off flash. It doesn't... I feel like there was actually kind of flashing though. Okay, this is actually one of the vehicles you can actually use in the game. It's a big beefy tank. Like a big beefy tank. And I can also shoot missiles. Actually, it's more like cannons. But like, it just feels so clean to shoot and destroy in this game. And then I also can aim the turret whichever direction I'm pointing the uh, joystick. And out in the snow, we finished the level. Dang, this... You know, this... I feel like if I didn't play any other game around the year, this would have totally been game of the year. But I, Astalon totally took over that place. Um, yeah, Astalon definitely took that place. But I, this is definitely a game to remember. Uh, oh yeah, and then there's this dialogue, oh, the raven, yada yada yada. Cool. That, yes. Okay, now, I'm gonna show you guys the amount of levels there are in this game. And then I think I'm gonna end it, because I wanna keep it like, uh, sh I wanna keep the video short and not overstay its welcome. Okay, so, we got the first level, which is the prison. We got the second level, which is this desert. Actually, they show you pictures. Oh yeah, and you ride this sweet bike. Um, so the desert, then you got this arena place. I might actually play that, um, near the end. So three levels, four levels, so that's a mine. Five, another mine. Six, you meet the skull guys. Seven, uh, space station. Oh, that might be aliens or something. Did I say seven? Wait. I can't, I have to go back. Uh, three, four, five, six, 
seven, eight, the prison. Uh, yeah, I think that's just a bunch of the normal enemies. And then you got the final place in space. So nine levels. And then when you go through here, after you defeat the nine levels, then this portal opens up. And I'm, I'm going to take it to the portal. Then I'm probably going to do like maybe one of the missions there. And then I'm going to end it. So this is like, if you complete everything, then this is where you get the, the god mode uh, thing. And then if you go through here, this is actually hard mode. Okay, no, well, yada yada. Hard mode uh, kind of felt easier because I knew what to do, but there were just a ton of more enemies and it felt so exciting. Uh, so it's the same level layout, uh, as you can see, compared to the last one. So basically, I would say overall there's 18 levels, um, but that's nine levels, the normal campaign and nine more levels in hard mode. And I would say it's worth playing hard mode. And that's, and if I combine both of those, it, uh, both, completing both of those took me about five hours. So definitely a short game, but it, I definitely felt like I enjoyed my time with the game. I, I didn't feel like I missed out on anything. So I'm gonna play this arena level and then I'm gonna end it. Um, again, I, clearly completely enjoy this okay so now I have to fight this like gauntlet of enemies it, it's awesome um that, that guy throws like uh, whiskey bottles that are explosive oh 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 oh, oh. no 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 don't kill me I'm sorry Okay, go over here. Okay, so maybe I'm losing my health right now. Not, not pretty epic. Oh, electricity. Oh wait, where are the enemies? Okay, kill, kill. The goose must kill. Destroy. Okay, destroy all that, destroy that, get my health, health. Roar, I'm a goose. Okay, now I have a shotgun. You know, I think I would, I think I would completely love it if there was just like, a, just a gauntlet of enemies for some sort of like, endless mode. Um, I, I would like some sort of, like, endless man. Uh, I don't, I think I'm going to stop it for now. I want to absolutely thank, uh, Playism for, um, the review code. And I want to thank them for letting me play such an amazing game. This is going to get the seal of approval, Indie Gamer Team seal of approval, and I do appreciate that they have two player. I just want to say that right now, because that's definitely a new thing that I did not know about until now. But yeah, thank you for watching this video, and I will see you guys in the far future. Be sure to check this out though, this is not a game to actually skip on. Um, and I will see you guys in the far, far future. Adios everyone.